Welcome. My name is Randy. I'm with www.canadianelectricalpreexam.com. What I'd like to do today is a formula for you and uh, transformer ratios. I'll give you a question. And hopefully if we work through this question, you'll be able to solve any transformer ratio problem you come across on the pre-exam test. So, if I had a transformer and my voltage primary was 120 volts. My voltage secondary was 24 volts. My number of turns on the primary was 600 and we wanted to know what the number of turns on the secondary was. Okay. Voltage primary over voltage secondary equals the number of turns primary over the number of turns secondary. The way I do this is I just fill in what I need to know. Voltage primary was how much? 120. Voltage secondary is 24. Number of turns on primary? 600. And we've got to find the number of turns on the secondary. So I just put in X. What I do is cross multiply. Okay? So, I'll say my circles stay with my circles and my squares will stay with my squares. Fair enough? I also now state that I like my X's on the left side of the equal sign. So, I will go 120 times X equals, well, here's 600 and because 24 is dividing and I come across the equal sign I change the state so division becomes multiplication now so 600 now becomes multiplied by the 24 X equals 120 is coming across the equal sign it's multiplying here must divide equals 600 times my 24 divided by my 120 that will give you 120 hopefully that helped you out with that one so let's try one more since we're here but let's lower the number on the primary and see what happens to the number of turns on the secondary same situation voltage primary 120 voltage secondary 24 number of turns on the primary We'll drop it 200 and go 400. Number of turns on the secondary gives me uh, X. Therefore, voltage primary over voltage secondary equals number of turns primary over number of turns secondary. <clears throat> Again, voltage primary 120, voltage secondary 24 equals 400 over X. Circles with circles squares with squares as we cross multiply keeping the X on the left 120 times X equals 24 times 400 if I bring over the 120 now X equals 24 times 400 over 120 now gives me a total of 80 turns so if I bring back the last question which had 600 in it, I noticed my number of turns was 120. Here, it's 80. So by reducing the number of turns on the secondary, we're reducing the number of turns total. Pretty straightforward. Hopefully this helped you out, guys. I really do. My name is Randy with www.canadianelectricalpreexam.com. If you have any questions, give me a call, 647-926-1908, or uh, email me. Come on my website. I've got an area on there now that you'll be able to get in touch with me. All right. Hopefully this helps. Stay tuned for more videos, guys. I'll help you out as much as I can. If you have any questions, like I said, get in touch with me. I'll try to help you out the best I can. Thank you very much.